Hello and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Last time we took down Grotus and Bowser basically at the same time because we are that good. And uh, now we gotta chase down Grotus to the final room of this area. And uh, yeah, let's go, Koops. Oh, look who's still here. Bonk, 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 bonk. Ooh, ooh, oh, shred. All right, Koops. This is it, buddy. Do we have anything to equip? We do not. What level are we? 27? That's probably good. We're probably good. I think so. Oh. Nice! Need. Where am I? Good. Lots of stairs. Lots of stairs. Jam and jelly. Great. Um. Alright, Jimmy. Let's go, buddy. It's you and me, pal. Too bad for you, Mario. You're too late. What's going on here? <laughs> Look well. In the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure. This tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction. And the crystal stars you brought here will undo that seal. The demon's soul will possess Peach's body and bring life to the most powerful witch in millennia. So that's why you nabbed the princess. M Mario, I'm s so sorry sending you that map. Caused all this trouble, didn't it? <laughs> With the power of the witch, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. The world will be mine. Now, arise. Arise, my Shadow Queen. Oh. Oh, he did, he did, he did a team. Oh, demons. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. The hand, the hand shadows going over the land are probably not a good sign. <clears throat> I'll say that right now. Uh, um, uh, whoa, what's going on? Well, what's all this? The sky, it's turning dark. Who has called me back? It is I, my Shadow Queen. You. Very well, where is the vessel? It is here. This girl who lies before you. Yes, a fine vessel. 
No. Oh, help me. Oh, God. Everyone's feeling it. What's all this then? Am I to deduce that this is the end of the world? What was that? Something terrible has happened. Yeah. Um, something very bad. No. Could the demon of legend have truly awakened? No, this is unthinkable. I got bad news for you, frankly. <laughs> Witness my rebirth. My soul has not yet fully accustomed to this vessel, but I will learn to control this body soon enough. Pete. Yes, my glorious Shadow Queen. Destroy these impudent fools. Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Huh? What do you mean? I thought you were bound to obey the one who woke you. Enough of this prattle. Do as I say. Now, or I'll send you back to- You would do well to learn your proper place, slave. No one commands me. Ooh. My powers are not fully, not yet fully restored, but they will come in time. What's going on, Gonzalez? This is wild. My queen. You have returned to us. Ah, Beldum, what ages have passed? So, you are the one truly responsible for calling me back, yes? Yes, my queen. I searched for the pure heart that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread a rumor of a great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties admirably. I am not worthy, my queen. And who are those beings that stand before me? Yes, they appear to possess some modicum of power and maybe of some use. Mortals, if you will become my faithful servants, I will not harm you. Gonzales serves nobody, lady. Right, Gonzales? <laughs> All right, I'll become your servant. Sorry, <laughs> Jimmy. Yes, you are obedient. Good, my pet. Now you are mine. You will serve me for eternity. Oh. <laughs> and so the Shadow Queen engulfed the world with her foul magic. For Mario for Peach, and for the world it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it makes it even better to have the 
reaction of the partner now just be in pure shock that you do something so stupid. Oh. Well, that didn't work. I didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, I serve nobody, Jimmy. I see, so you defy me. How amusing. Then, you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways. We got this, Jimmy. You are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. Then don't. We're re not real champs unless we beat this evil lady. So don't go soft on me. That's not peace, you know. Show no mercy. We got this, Jimmy. No mercy. Hit her with the good old Wabamo. Perfect. Reader thoughts. Oh my gosh, what happened? I can't believe Peach got possessed. That's awful. Now she's the Shadow Queen, the demon that destroyed this town a thousand years ago. HP is 150, attack is 7, and defense is 0. She'll unleash big lightning attacks. She'll also use magic to raise attack and defense or absorb HP. She might even try to drag us into darkness. <laughs> I don't feel good about attacking Peach, but we have to do something. I don't think it has Peach. We just have to fight to the end. Come on. Okay. I got, I got the bingo, I and mean, I really did not need that at all. Okay. You know what? Good idea. Good job, Jimmy. Good. Who would have who would have thought the caterpillars would uh, help us out on that one? Hey, you know this might not be half bad. Crap. <laughs> bang, 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 bingo, baby. Dang. Oh. Well, you know, I got just the thing for that. You don't understand, Shadow Queen. You may have been... You may have been... You may... You suck. I don't know, boss. I don't know. Um... Jimmy, I don't think you can do anything. Bomb him. Yeah, 
this is probably good. Very good. Help. Help. No. Help. Help. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Weak. Maybe you are less useless than you appear. This body is unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you real power. Oh. In this form, your attacks are like those of a child to me. You are lucky. You will perish with the honor of having seen the true terror and power. <laughs> oh yeah. True terror in this. Oh. True terror in this. Oh. <laughs> Is that your idea of an attack? Foolish. Struggle as you might, it won't be enough. Babu. Oh no. Oh no. Don't. Babu. She, she hates you. Wait. Wait. Why would you. Why would you do that? Right, that's not good. Right. Uh, oops. You're next up, buddy. Hit it with your best shot. That's not good either. <laughs> now taste my power. Ow. Oh no. <laughs> no. No, no. Stop! What are you doing? What are you what are you what are you what are you trying to accomplish here? That's not good. Bad. Hmm, what a troublesome little pest you are. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I have recovered from any slight damage I've taken. And now I will punish you for your resistance. Um, Mario, uh, where we do? This could be it for us. Um. I will ask you again. Will you serve me? If so, I will forgive you for this. No way, no way, lady. <laughs> Very well. Then you will perish. What is this? Ooh, baby. The creature stars. Oh. You're here, brother. Hmm. 
now? What is that shiny thing? Mayor, it's the crystal star. I haven't done your voice in a while. But I thought Mario had this thing. I wonder, kids, if this is related to this guy getting all dark and whatnot. <laughs> you may be right, but I just don't know. If anything happened to my small cooch and Mario. Oh dear. Coops, you're okay, right? You promised you'd come back, okay? Yeah, Coops. He's good. Whoa, the Crystal Star! What in the world? What's that doing here? This is very mysterious. Yes, a mystery that. Snap out of it, Elder! Really? Mario's in trouble! That's what the Crystal Star is here to tell us! I just know it! What? Could it be? Yeah, you're right, Patootie! I can hear, I can hear it! The Crystal Star is speaking to us! It's telling us that Mario's fighting to save the world! That he's in deep trouble! Mario Fleury! Come on, don't give up! Yeah, you can do it, guys! Yeah, keep fighting! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gonzalez! I mean Mario! I know you're fighting far away right now, for us, for all of us. This crystal star has told us your last brave stand. Maybe we can't do much to help you, but we're thinking of you. All our wishes are for you, for your victory. Uh, yeah, yeah, feel it, rock out, great Gonzalez, rock! This is me, Gonzalez. Anybody who's allowed to beat me is not allowed to lose. That's right, the old star. Tell that shrimp that beat us to never give in. Fight. We're sending you all our strength, G-Man. You feeling the love out there? Gonzalez. Fight him for loser. <laughs> Yeah, fight on Mario. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't you give up, Mario. Give it to him. Fight, fight. Yeah, never give in. Leaving yourself. Fight. Mario, you may be feeling. You may feel like it's going rough, like the tides have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. Please don't give in. I got you, unnamed soldier. Vivian was her name, right? I'm a bit worried about the girl that was with Mario. I hope they're both okay. They'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I, I still remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe that light will return to our world. Fight, Mario. Fight on. Fight. Car, car, car. Mario, don't give up. Dump him. You can do it. Come on, you blige pooch. I can't blow me near you. Fight it, Bobbery. Fight. Go get him. Yeah, fight. Launch more! Go, go, go! Do it, do it. Yeah, 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 baby! I'm a bobbery. You show me what a real sea bomb's made of, mate! Yeah, baby! I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I'm quite sure he'll prevail. Oh, I worry nonetheless. I so hope there's a future in which my little bub can grow and prosper. Well then, I suppose all we can do is give him a rousing cheer, hmm? Yes, certainly, I'm quite sure he can hear us through the power of this crystal. Damn right, then. Go, Gonzalez, go get him. Mario, you lovely thing. Gonzalez. Go, Gonzalez. Get him. Ah. 
M Mario G Gonzalez. Not L Luigi. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> oh, man. We are assembled, Mayor. Okay. Good work, my comrades. Now let us do it. Ready and Mario! You the bomb, blow him up, yeah, 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 baby! Mario, you can do it. Oh, guys. Is that? Can you hear them, Mario? So many voices. Ooh. Luigi! They're... They're all sending us their wishes and positive energy. That's amazing! What, what, what? What are these vile voices? Mario, look at that! What is this light? Oh... Oh... Oh. Mario! That voice! Princess Peach? Mario, I... What? what? You wretched little girl, you disobey me! Mario, take... Take the last of my power. Spear bomb? Oh, we're so back, baby. What? What's this? I feel all full of energy. You brat, you disobey me, girl. Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. Peach! <laughs> Very cunning, princess. But you will not undo me. I know know me as your queen. We're back at it, baby. Mario, the time is now. We've almost got her. Enough. This ends now. Oh, we are so back, baby. Well, I need you. I need you to tell me if there's any defense I should know about. That's the Shadow Queen. Wow, she's scary. We gotta hold our ground. HP 50, attack is seven, defense is one. She'll use lightning ma and magic and boost her own attack and defense power. If she uses her breath on us, we could get poisoned, confused, or lose power-ups. Ah, uh, not me. But the worst is when she saves her energy for a big attack. That is gnarly. We do best by just to avoid it by hiding in the shadows with Vivian, I think. Boy, and not only is her body scary, but her hands are pretty mean as well. She has several attack patterns, so watch closely and see what's coming. Now Mario, let's do it. This is our final battle. Let's give it all we got. Uh, radio, Capio. Alright, we, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we can charge. Oh, yeah. Nice try, lady. Okay. Okay, she does not like Goombella. It's fine, Goombella. Good job.
Take this, you witch. I didn't even see how much that took. All right. Well, what? How is it that you can hurt me? Now we're in business. Get ready for some pain. Fools! How much was that attack power again? Okay, let's do this. Perfect. I finally got it! What does that do for me? It does everything. Oh. Why couldn't I attack the dead hands before? Well, let's think of this smartly. We need to hide. That's A B A A B. Try it, I dare you. You can't, you won't, and you shouldn't. Heh, <laughs> stupid. Jump on the hands. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Say bye bye to your hands and say bye bye to me. E A A A B. Do it. I dare you. Try it. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, whoops. She okay. You know what? I'm a genius. What better way to do this? Perfect. Look at that. Uh, we need to hide again. B B B A B. Bing bong. Look, as long as you keep spamming that, I'm just gonna keep hiding. Right, I'll just keep hiding. You can do that all you want. Whoops. Okay. Well, that's fine. We hide again. B B B A B. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing this if you just keep charging your attacks. Oh, oh. Ow. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready for that. Help. Oh. 
That's good. Ten. Uh, beautiful. All right, that's bad. Okay, that's really bad. Um, so what I need to do is likely... What is it? Oh, it was you! I couldn't see what it was! Oh no... It's fine. You got this. Boom, baby. Uh, should I have healed? Should I still heal? I don't have it. But what I do have is prayer. And hope. And dreams. Say that helps me. That helps me not. It would have though. That was a good try. Hmm. Well, actually, the first thing I should do. Beautiful. Then we swap. Oh, we're running out of. That's fine. B A A B B. <laughs> you do not know what you have done. I don't actually. Is it bad? Yeah, I didn't feel any different than what I've been doing. Oh. Okay. That's fine? Question mark? Don't do I don't do done to do anything stupid. I could compromise. Um yeah. It's fine. Wait. No, I can't do it. Um... Yeah. Oops. Well... Oh, well... It's a good thing I have this. You fool. You fell for my trump card. Do I have a partner that does eight? I don't think so. But should I heal? Healing might be a very good idea.
threaded the needle on that. Oh, at me. No, that's a bunch of me heads. I need those. Great. Good. Ish. Alright, and then we, and then we, and then we pull out the big boy. Perfect. Not perfect. Ow! Why would you do that? Why, why would, why would you do that? I, I just, I just would like to know the, the reasoning behind you doing such a thing. Yeah, I needed this. <laughs> this is great. This is going extremely good for me. Oops. Well, you know what? I have just the thing to get around that. Ow. Yep, that hurt. Nice try, ma'am. Very nice try. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm in mortal danger. Great. Um, that, that quite possibly might have been the worst thing that could have happened. Wait. Am I genius? Great. That is good. We're almost there.
Alright, we're, we're cutting it down to the nitty gritty here. Thank you, shy guy. I... Oh my... Oh my gosh! God be my witness. Let God be my witness. Just, just enough for one final attack. Say good night. Ah! Oh, I did it, boys. Holy crap. Who knew? Who knew I could cheat, have so much cheese? Impossible. Unthinkable. How could I? I cannot be beaten by lesser beings such as these. And I had just been reborn to this world. I cannot. I must not. My queen. Hey, 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 Duplos, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why what you were doing with these guys. No, let's get out of here, Marilyn. Go. Hey, 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 wait. Princess Peach. Peach is totally okay. She's not even hurt. Uh, uh. Mario? So, it's all over then? I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? It's totally okay, Peach. It was like, no big deal. Thank you, all of you. Ah, there you are, Mario. Whoa, whoa, can you believe those brutes even came after me, an old Goomba? But still, I made it here. I was so worried about you all. You have no idea. By the look of things, though, I guess we're in the clear, am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yes, I seem to be in one piece, too, so all is well. So without further ado, let's take a look at this. Oh. Ooh. I found this on the way. It must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Rogueport. My theory has been c correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Oh, Professor Frankly. No, don't bring me down now. It might be something great, and all's well that ends well. Now, how about we get out of this dank place? Hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. But what's the treasure? What was the treasure? Was it the friends we made along the way? So you're leaving then? Well, that's too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. Oh, Professor, 
We'd never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your research assistant for next term. Hmm, yes, that's right. I and I thank you, Goombella. Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, alright? And we in return will wish that you find all the best in the future. Never give up, Mario. That's what's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise you'll think of me every now and think of me now and again, okay? Um, Mario, thanks to you I found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I've known you. It's like I've become a tiny bit more like my dad, you know? It's also hard to put into words, um... My dear, dear Mario, I'm ready to make my comeback in the theater now. I've found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I'm so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once we're finished rehearsing and bring Peach too, dear. Then guys, oh yeah, wait, I gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Because I was born in the glitch pit and Gonzalez is always, Gonzalez is and always will be the champ. Just me again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Oh, uh, Mario, I, I feel, I feel like I've grown up too, a lot. Uh, yeah, um, never mind. Yeah, I'm, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So, don't forget me either. Well, old boy, it was most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would never will still gaze on a broken bob -omb. But now I'm off to sea again. <coughs> I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, it's time for us to part, my little cheese chunk. But, uh, I will not say farewell. Because you're welcome here any time. And since you're welcome, you should come anytime you please, sweetie. Now be careful, and until we meet again, adieu. Bye, guys. <laughs> well, the boat's almost there. Mario! Hey, buddy. Oh, we made it just in time. Get this with you. We brought, it. Right. we brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy. It's a very fresh mushrooms. Thanks, buddy. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Everyone, if not for all of you, the world would have fallen into horrible darkness. But your brave heart strove for peace and saved this world. I don't know how to thank you, but I know that the entire world is in your debt. What nonsense. We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess. If you hadn't come to our little town, we'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Grotus. The thought gives me hives. Oh, look, your highness, I see the boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. But please, come on board. I'll get you folks right back. Full steam. Take care, everyone. Farewell. Set course for the Mushroom Kingdom. Goodbye, guys. Take care of Jimmy for me. He's a baby. Why didn't he come with me? They're all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have many good memories of Rogueport, what with the kidnapping and all. 
but it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario, I was very frightened when they took me, but, well, Tech was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you'd come to help me as well. I'll always believe in that. Thank you, Mario. I, maybe I shouldn't wander off by myself quite so often. Yeah. Mario, look out there. Rogueport's positively shining. It's so beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wow, that's wild, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? Hmm. But now that Princess Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro. And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for your new adventure? Oh, yes. Yeah, you the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to. No. Uh, oh. Uh. Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your new fingered mail gadget? Dear Mario, what's up? Gumbella here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's still tons of Rogueport lore we still don't get. So my research with the professors goes on and on. With the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, I know what the... <laughs> Speaking of which, know what was in the chest that the professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> but I'll tell you next time I see you. Something tells me you won't. As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited, and saw everyone we traveled with, too. Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace, can you imagine? Still, it might be just perfect for him to come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than when you first when uh, than when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Yeah, that sounds about right. Flurry's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is a story of our adventure. Yeah. It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice, it was totally the best play ever. And somehow Duplis has joined the troupe as an actor, who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. Oh, and little Jimmy? Yeah, he's fighting solo in the glitz pit. He says he's getting pretty close to, to the title match. Even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the room, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right or he'll get like so mad at me. He said, uh, he uh, said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? <laughs> hmm, that's my boy. That's my boy right there. Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. She wants to give them another chance. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's too into evil. Oh, and Beldum also promised me that she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Yep, I think the three sisters are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. 
We should totally go visit her sometime. Pretty sweet. Barbary goes out to sea every day now that on Cortez's ship. I think his soul has healed. I ran into him on Keyhole Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy I thought he was gonna blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot, everyone on Keyhole Key as well, and they say hello. Ms. Miles is still running the bad shop in Rogueport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said just the other day that she found some super rare badge, actually. So that's our globetrotting, mystery-making, flirting little badge thief, huh? Seems about right. Oh yeah. In my travels I heard rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed out a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on mischief making. Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you and Peach again. He lived. He's alive. Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I better wrap it up. I just want to say even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And... There's one thing that that kind of, <laughs> there's one thing that kind of weighed on me and I never got to express it to you. See, I, well, maybe that's best kept a secret. Oh. So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend Goombella. Hey, this awesome bro sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Oh, yeah. Huh? Someone there? Excuse me, sirs. Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadworth found a treasure map. And I'm sure it'll re lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So Mario, you'd love to for... <laughs> you'd love to look for treasure, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. Yep, that seems about right. That was the end. Oh. Oh man. Man. I love this game so much. Like, gosh, man. Just getting to, like, I don't know, like, halfway through that, like, I don't know if it's a fan drying out my eyes and me not blinking for a while, but I can, I can feel them. They're, they're welling up a little bit. There's just too much nostalgia with this game, man. Just playing it 
every time I had the chance on the GameCube back when I was just a little kid, not even in school yet, not even knowing how to read, just turning on the GameCube, hearing that startup sound, and just hearing this music on the game. It's just the art style too, man. I, I just love, like, this game's art style, I like so much more than just normal Mario art. I, I don't really know why. I just, man. This makes me feel like a kid again. This whole thing made me feel like a kid again, just playing through it. And it it's just weird and eye-opening, because, like, first time playing it, I, I was, like, four. Had to have been, like, four years old playing this. And then playing it again when I turned 18, after finding it in the garage, after years of not seeing it, and playing through the entire story again, which I hadn't done before. If any other time I'd play it, I'd just walk through my old save because I just liked going, I just liked riding the train back and forth. To be honest, that's really why I turned it on. But just playing through the story again at 18, experiencing childhood like that, and now doing it again at 22, it's just like, I don't know, man. There's something about there's something about just re-experiencing stuff that you like to do as a, a child, as an adult. Like it just gives you a new perspective on life, I guess. It's, it's just I don't know. It's it's beautiful in a way. Like wrapping up my life as a a person. Well, I'm not dying. I mean, my younger life, I guess, as now I'm full-fledged adult. Like, at 18, I, like, you're still, I might have been graduated out of high school, but I was only three months out of high school when I found this game in the garage. So, like, th this really is just like, I'm old now. And now it's, there's, there's probably a bunch of kids now who are like me when this game first came out, playing it. Uh, basically, Angie for one, right, my little great niece, she's the same age I was when this game came out on the GameCube. And she's been watching my playthrough of it. I don't know why she likes it so much. But, I mean, give her two more years when she starts playing games. This might be one of the games that she picks up, and maybe she'll also just ride the train back and forth. Who knows, but it's just weird how that's how life is now. It's just ha things happening over again. Kids experiencing a game that I loved as a kid. It, it's, it's weird. Not just funny that way, I guess. But yeah. It was a beautiful game. Great story all around. Just every part of it. So good. I, this, this remake was everything and more that I would have wanted from this. Like, it, it delivered. I it s still felt like a new experience, but also at the same time, it was like, it's still the same game that I, I know and love. That I grew up on. Yeah. That's it. <sighs> Man. I love this game so much. 
with a confetti. I did it. I won. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know really what else to say. But uh, that's it. I think there might be one more, one more video on the way. Because there is some post-game content that I want to get to. But for now, that's it. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed my playthrough. Maybe as I went through this, maybe you want to play it yourself. Because this is a very fun game. Like, just exploring everything is so, like... I don't know, there, there's something about like how Nintendo made games back in the GameCube days where it just had like a gritty feel to it. And you, you definitely can feel it in this game. Where it just, it has that, it has a different feel. I, at least to me, than normal Mario games. But yeah, I've rambled on enough. You've heard enough of me. And I've heard enough of myself. So, that'll be it for this. One more episode to go. I'll kind of run through some of the post-game content. But other than that, I guess I'll either see you in the next episode or I'll see you in the next playthrough. So, see ya. Peace out.